guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I am doing a university move-in vlog. Yeah, so as I mentioned in the past few videos, I'm starting university on September 8th. So I'll have already started by the time you're seeing this video, but anyways, this is going to be my move-in portion because I'm not staying at home. I'm going to campus. I'm, well, I'm currently here already. I'm at, uh, as my shirt says, University of Waterloo. I know it's backwards, but... It's only like an hour and a half away from Toronto, so it's not too far if I need to go home or I need to pick stuff up or anything. So that's basically all I have to say. Enjoy the moving vlog. It's the day before I'm moving in, so August 31st. And I have like not packed a single thing. This is really bad. I was up until 3 a.m. last night finishing making cupcakes and then going to the gym today to see everyone for the last time. So I made the cupcakes last night. These are like lemon cupcakes and then i've got the buttercream icing done over here i just need to like put it together and let me just show you the state of my living room right now it is an absolute disaster okay so this is a combination of gifts i got from um, everyone at Jusco during the goodbye party um more gifts over there these are gifts that I'm giving to my coaches today. In the middle is stuff that I'm trying to pack. That corner is stuff that I'm bringing to university that we've kind of gathered throughout the months. But we just haven't gotten around to formally packing anything yet. So got a lot to do today, today after we come back from the gym. And on a completely unrelated note, today marks one year since I finished watching Umbrella Academy for the first time. So one year of me being an absolute crazy person. Anyways, bye. I've been on my way up, now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground Cool. These take up like three quarters of my luggage already. Actually, I lied. Um, I found another sweater and it takes up a whole quarter itself. So that's half my luggage gone. Thanks, Ava. So this is the current state of packing. I've got like all my clothes laid out here. Not all of them, but this is a good portion of them and more here. But please tell me how all this is supposed to fit into that. I think I'm gonna need another luggage. This is not working. Also, we have way too much stuff downstairs. I don't know how it's gonna fit into one car. luggage basically i fit most of my clothes in there i don't know the luggage is packed and kind of sent off to the front door already i do still have more clothes but i can bring them back another day because basically okay i haven't explained what's happening basically we're moving in tomorrow but then i have to come back to toronto because my driving test is on friday so i gotta go do that and then i'm like officially moving in on saturday or sunday haven't decided yet so i have an opportunity to come back and get more stuff if I need to, so that's what I'll be doing. Still so much to pack. I don't even know what I'm doing, so wish me luck. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow. Good morning, it is moving day, September 1st. We basically packed the whole car last night, so there's not really anything to do today, so that's good. I am so glad we're taking two trips though because it wasn't all gonna fit in the car. It barely just fit um, what we brought today. And it's not a vlog without me plugging my editing account. I just posted a David edit and I love it so much. So go check it out if you haven't already. And we're gonna go, I guess, get ready to leave because we had scheduled a time to pick up our keys. And so ours is at noon. So Waterloo is like, an hour, hour and a half away. So we're leaving at around 9 45, 10 o'clock just to give ourselves some extra time. Yes, I'll see you in the car. I don't see a way around it. Cause everything has led me straight to you. It's nothing new. Baby, I'm outside. Been thinking about you all night. Been thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside Okay, so we have 
just finished moving everything in. The room, I'm not gonna lie, is kind of small. I'll show you guys more when um, when we get everything set up. But right now, we're just like wiping, deep cleaning everything. But this is gonna be exciting. I don't know what else to say, but yeah, we're mostly moved in, just cleaning up now. Floors two and three. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between. Let me just say that the lamp in this place is so the lamp in this place is so weird. I take the elevator to floors two and three. It stops right in between the floors. And I'm on floor two, so I have to walk down. Half a flight of stairs. You're the only love that I've ever known. But we turned into a flower that never grows. I was Anyways, we're exploring. God. This goes so far underground. Oh my god. Have fun, Taylor. You're only you're, well, I can't even see you. Like <laughs> I know. your only in-person classes here. How fun. Congratulations, Donna Trickman. <laughs> what? Oh. Noble nice. physics and Noble, Noble physics, physics and prize. Yep. Yes. You can kind of see there is a fox. Well, I'm three is, is that one straight ahead. Yeah, gonna have class there. Hello, hello. Sorry, it has been a while since I've updated the vlog. I have not done much filming today, but we drove back here in Waterloo. We unpacked everything. We had dinner one last time with the family, said goodbye, and took actually a quick walk around campus. I have some clips of that, so you probably just saw that a little bit. But we're back in the rooms now. I figured I'd do a quick little like dorm tour or whatever. My room is not quite finished, I don't think. I think I still have some things to rearrange and set up and everything, but I'll show you what I've got so far. I don't want to do a whole in-depth video on a room tour, so I'm going to include it in here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So when you walk in, basically we've got a shared living space. It's pretty small, but They've we've got little chairs here. We've got our own kitchen with uh, which is very full already Just real quick closet bathroom. What's up? I forgot to mention our room is not a traditional dorm room So basically, you know in your typical dorm rooms You just have like your bed or the two beds with you and your roommate and then there's like a Washroom for the whole floor or something or at least that's what I think it is and there's no kitchen or everything But ours is a sweet style So we've got some shared living space our kitchen and then we each have our own little rooms So we didn't buy a meal plan. We are just gonna cook for ourselves and also eat Wherever we want we just have to pay So yeah, anyways, let me show you guys my room. So this here room C is for our roommate who's coming tomorrow um, Room B is my cousin Taylor. So she's got her room all set up I'm not gonna show you just in case she doesn't want you to but here is my room so far starting with a shoe rack Which has no shoes on it currently just a foam roller and an umbrella. How nice uh, My calendar so I can like plan out the whole semester here and then if we walk over here is my bed basically I took my um, my sheets from Gold Coast uh, Commonwealth Games, which is great so Put that up, we put a little bit of fairy lights. Oh, and my Umbrella Academy poster, how lovely. This thing didn't come with a bedside table, so um, we just bought one. And I actually have my gym bag underneath there, so I can still do my gym stuff if I want to. There's that little stuffed animal that Emily gave me. Basically, my room is a really weird layout. It's like, I can't show you it all at once, but it's like a weird like T-shape, but it works. So anyways, back here I've got my dresser, oh hey, and a mirror. Where I just put like my toiletries and stuff because there's not enough room in our bathroom for all of us to put our stuff So I just have like a little caddy thing to carry all my stuff in also on a completely unrelated note I got my haircut yesterday. My mom just cut my hair As she usually does so I don't know if you can tell but it's a little bit shorter now So again, that's my dresser and then here's my closet which I've hung up a few clothes I tried to color coordinate it, but I don't have that much and then I have a little I call this my octopus thingy for my masks 
uh, laundry basket, backpack, fan, and all that. And this is my little study corner. So I've got all my binders up there, little picture from Commonwealth Games, my Funko Pop dolls, then my computer. This is all the stuff I'm gonna use for school. There's a little picture from a photo shoot that I did back in March 2020. I know you can't see it very well because of the lighting, but anyways, that's that. And then there's this little picture from Kin from that little giveaway I won, which is super cool. I've got a bit more storage under here, a couple desks, garbage, all that. This is my fuzzy little blanket that I put on my chair. It's very soft and fluffy. Anyways, and then in this little corner, I've got a cute little picture frame of a bunch of pictures. Sorry, the lighting is so terrible right now. I cannot find out. There is a light here and I can't figure out how to turn it on. So until then, we're gonna work with this bad lighting. Here are the pictures again. Here's my ring light. And that is essentially my room. Yeah. Welcome to my new little setup for vlogs, I guess, or for sit down videos. So that is basically it for my little move in vlog and a room tour type thing. Today is, what day is it today? Saturday, September 4th. I start school on the 8th, which is a Wednesday. So I've got a few days to kind of orient myself, get used to everything. That being said, I'll sit down for a little bit and talk to you guys about this whole experience. Now, I know I'm only like an hour and a half away from home. So I feel like it's a good in between for me being like alone, but also still having my family close by if I ever need anything. So that's great. The goodbye was a lot more, <laughs> it was good, it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I like had a mini panic attack before we were leaving, I'm just like, I'm not ready to go, I can't do this, and, like, that's what happens with everything, I get easily worked up about everything, so. Once I got over that, I'm feeling better now, I'm very excited and very nervous to start school. One of the things I am, I'm gonna sit back on my rocking chair, this, this is a really bad rocking chair. Never mind. Like, I'm very excited to finish organizing everything. Like, my room is still a little empty. I want to add some more stuff, but I'm excited for that portion. The main thing I'm nervous about is the workload. I've heard my program is really tough, and I want to have time to do a ton of other things. Like, not to mention, I have, like, two side jobs right now. I'm still tutoring, and if you guys didn't know, I'm also now the social media coordinator for Jusco, so I'm really excited about that. I don't know if I mentioned it on here, but I mentioned it on Instagram, so those two little side things I'm keeping up during this time in university, as well as this channel and my editing. These are all things that I want to keep up with while I'm at school, not to mention also, like, working out and having time to eat, sleep, and breathe and all that, so. I know it's going to be a busy time and I won't have time to do everything, but I know I won't have time to do everything to the same extent as I was doing before with no school. So now would probably be a good time to mention I'm going to be reducing my posting schedule. I highly doubt I'm ever going to get videos up every week. I'm going to aim to post once every other week. That's the tentative plan. I obviously have to see how it goes with my school and everything. So yeah, I don't want to force myself to post at a specific time, especially because I don't know how my workload is going to be yet. So I will tentatively plan for every other Sunday at maybe 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. because I'm now tutoring at 11 a.m. But again, I don't want to commit to a posting schedule. But anyways, okay, that was that was a lot of talking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this university move-in vlog. I will definitely do more school videos in the future when I have time to film and edit them, but I promise they will get out to you soon. If you have any other requests for videos, like school-related stuff that you want to see, let me know. And don't worry, I will still be posting tutorial videos. I have a ton that have been filmed and are sitting on my hard drive ready to be edited and sent out to you guys. So. Yeah, stay tuned for those. I can't wait to take you guys along on this journey with me. Again, very excited, very nervous for everything that's to come, but you guys will see how it all plays out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe down below if you're not already, and don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you get notified whenever I, up whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.